My name is Omri Ayalon. I'm a hand surgeon at NYU Langone Health, and I'm one of the co-directors of the Center for Amputation and Reconstruction here at NYU. Here at the Center for Amputation and Reconstruction, we have a multidisciplinary approach. We have occupational hand therapists who specialize in taking care of amputees, as well as prosthetists and orthotists. So when you look at these patients from just one perspective, then you only get a portion of what their needs are and you only see what you can help the patients with from your skill set. My name is Jacques Hockboard. I'm the co-director of the Center for Amputation and Reconstruction here at NYU Langone Health. Dr. Hockboard and I identified a real gap in care for amputee patients, especially upper extremity patients. Oftentimes these patients are taken care of by either physicians or therapists who don't really have good communication with the whole stream of care provider. We have been able to put together a team of people that are like-minded, that are all skilled, and that are all very focused on the amputee. My name is Tom Passero. I am an American Board Certified Prosthetist. So in a city like New York, it's been a struggle for me as a prosthetist not to see a center like this. So I'm enthused, I'm excited, and I look forward to being part of what they're doing here. My name is John Reinstein, and I'm a board-certified prosthetist. We're really taking the care of patients to the next level, and that's what's so great about working here with Dr. Hochberg and Dr. Eilon. They really understand what it is that we're doing, and that helps us marry the prosthesis to the patient. Having the occupational therapist here is immensely helpful because we can actually talk with her at the time that we're seeing the patient to determine any tweaks that need to be made in their therapy protocol. My name is Elaine. I am an occupational therapist here and I love being kind of like their cheerleader and helping them throughout the whole entire process, educating them about a lot of things and helping them with their new processes and to just to be able to see them finally do something with both of their hands or both of their arms is super rewarding. Socioeconomic status shouldn't affect the care that these patients get, and so we wanted to make sure that we don't close our treatment to any uh, patient population based on their insurance status or lack thereof. Um, so we want to make sure that we're very inclusive to all the patient populations who need this care. The surgical advancements that we have are things such as targeted muscle re to handle the, the pain that patients have, but also to improve the myoelectric functioning of the prosthetics that patients have. Not everyone is a candidate for reconstruction, and that's very important here that we stress in this clinic. We never ever want to do anything just for the sake of doing it. We look and evaluate every single patient holistically to determine what are their needs. Once we've defined what their needs are, then we can say, okay, what do we have to help them and to address their needs?